Ever wondered how to text an older woman effectively? You're not alone. Let's dive into the art of texting an older woman. Why is it different? Her life's experiences and perspectives shape it. An older woman's experiences, values, and expectations may differ from yours significantly. Understanding these differences is a key part of dating and relationships. It's about acknowledging and respecting her perspectives. This knowledge aids in effective communication, establishing a solid foundation for any relationship. So, what's distinctive about texting an older woman? It's all about maturity. Mature communication is what older women appreciate, having been through the games, the uncertainty, and sometimes the immaturity of youth. Your texts should show that you can engage in meaningful, thoughtful, and respectful communication beyond the superficial. This means showing genuine interest in her thoughts, her experiences, and her life. Remember, your texts are a reflection of you. They can either show an older woman that you are mature, respectful, and genuinely interested, or the opposite. It's all up to you, or should I say, at your fingertips. Stay tuned as we unveil the of mastering the art of texting an older woman. But wait, before we begin, please subscribe to ensure that you never miss out on any of my crucial stuff. Comment, I subscribe below, and I will personally welcome you to our community. Let's get started. First things first, the dues. They're crucial if you want to make a good impression. In the art of conversation, and particularly in texting, it's key to be respectful, especially if you're dealing with an older woman. This is not just about using polite language. It's about appreciating her experiences and wisdom. Show her that you value her insights and perspective. Ask about her experiences, her interests, her passions. Remember, curiosity is a sign of maturity, and it shows you're genuinely interested in getting to know her as a person. Speaking of maturity, this is another essential do. You're not texting a high school friend here. You're engaging with an older woman, someone who's seen a bit more of life. She's likely to appreciate a more sophisticated sense of humor, thoughtful questions, and insightful responses. Avoid immature language and emojis that might make you seem juvenile. Now let's talk about something that's often overlooked, grammar and spelling. In this age of autocorrect and shorthand texting, proper grammar might seem like a thing of the past. But trust me, it's anything but. Good grammar and spelling are signs of intelligence and attention to detail. They show that you've taken the time to craft your message thoughtfully. So avoid text speak, use complete sentences, and for heaven's sake, double check your spelling. Also, remember to be patient. Older women may not be as glued to their phones as younger folks are. Don't bombard her with texts if she doesn't reply right away. Give her some time to respond. Patience, my friends, is a virtue. And finally, be yourself. Authenticity is attractive. Don't try to be someone you're not just to impress her. If she's worth your time, she'll appreciate you for who you are, quirks and all. Remember, your texts are a reflection of you. Make sure they show you in the best possible light. Now that we've covered the do's, let's dive into the don'ts. These are the pitfalls you should avoid at all costs. First and foremost, it's crucial to avoid being disrespectful when texting an older woman. This is not a situation for crude humor or offensive language. Be mindful of your words and remember that respect is not negotiable. If you wouldn't say it to her face, don't text it. Next on the list is immaturity. An older woman has likely had her fair share of childish antics and has little patience for them. So steer clear of juvenile language, silly emojis, or text speak. You're not a teenager, so don't text like one. Overflirting is another pitfall. While a little flirtation can be fun, too much can make you seem insincere or even desperate. Remember, it's about building a connection, not just scoring points. So keep your compliments genuine and your flirtation subtle. Another crucial thing to avoid is making assumptions. Don't assume you know her interests or opinions based on her age. She's an individual, not a stereotype. Don't text her about bingo or knitting unless she's expressed an interest in those activities. And don't assume she's not tech-savvy. Many older women are just as comfortable with technology as anyone else. Lastly, avoid pushing for too much too soon. Don't pressure her for personal information or a face-to-face -face meeting. Let things unfold naturally. Patience is not just a virtue. 
It's a necessity when texting an older woman. Before we wrap up, it's worth noting that all these don'ts boil down to one thing. Respect. Respect her as an individual, respect her experience, and respect her boundaries. If you can do that, you're already halfway to a successful texting relationship. Avoiding these pitfalls will help you maintain a positive and respectful relationship with her. Remember, the key is to be genuine, respectful, and patient. Keep these don'ts in mind, and you're well on your way to successful texting with an older woman. So, you've got the basics down, but how do you keep her interested? Before we continue, can I beg a little favor? If you're liking what you're hearing, show us some love by pressing that like button. And hey, if you want to be in the loop for our fantastic upcoming videos, make sure to press subscribe and ring that bell so you're always in the know. Oh, and one more thing, drop a quick I subscribe down in the comments. And I'll make sure to offer you a warm welcome to our amazing family. All right, enough of that. Let's keep the conversation flowing. Well, here's the thing. The art of keeping someone interested goes beyond just witty texts or flattering compliments. It's about building a genuine connection and showing that you truly value her. The first tip is to be a good listener. In the world of texting, this translates to reading her messages carefully and responding thoughtfully. Show her that her words matter to you. When she shares something about her day or her thoughts, engage with it. Ask follow-up questions, show empathy, and express genuine interest. Remember, a conversation is a two-way street. Next, show genuine interest in her life. Is she passionate about gardening? Ask her about her favorite plants. Does she love to travel? Ask her about her most memorable trip. This doesn't mean bombarding her with questions, but showing curiosity about who she is as a person. This not only keeps the conversation going, but also shows her that you're not just interested in a fleeting connection. Consistency is key. This doesn't mean you have to text her every minute of every day. That can be overwhelming and even off-putting. Instead, establish a consistent communication pattern. If you've been texting every couple of days, keep that up. If you chat every evening, stick to that. Consistency shows her that you're reliable and invested in the relationship. Remember to keep things light and positive. While it's important to engage in serious conversations, remember that everyone enjoys a good laugh. Humor can be a great way to keep someone interested, but make sure it's respectful and appropriate. Lastly, be yourself. Authenticity goes a long way in maintaining someone's interest. Don't pretend to be someone you're not just to impress her. If she's really the right person for you, she'll appreciate you for who you are. Keeping her interested is about more than just what you say. It's about showing her that you value her and are interested in her as a person. Because at the end of the day, genuine connection and mutual respect are what truly make a relationship meaningful. We've covered a lot today, so let's summarize the key points. Firstly, we discussed the art of texting an older woman. It's important to remember that communication with an older woman should be approached with maturity and respect. She's not just another number in your phone book. She's a person with experiences and stories that surpass yours. So show her that you're genuinely interested in getting to know her better, moving on to the DUs when texting an older woman. Be consistent and honest. Consistency shows that you're serious and not just passing time. Honesty, on the other hand, builds trust, and trust is the foundation of any relationship. Compliment her sincerely and show appreciation for her wisdom and experience. Remember, older women appreciate a good listener, so provide thoughtful responses to her texts. Then we delved into the don'ts. Avoid excessive use of slang or abbreviations that might confuse her. Don't bombard her with texts. Give her space and time to respond. Avoid getting too personal too soon, and most importantly, don't act like a kid. Demonstrate maturity in your conversations. And finally, we shared tips on how to keep her interested. Be engaging and ask open-ended questions. Show genuine interest in her life and experiences. Keep the conversation light and fun, but also be prepared to delve into deeper topics. Remember, it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. In essence, texting an older woman is about respect, sincerity, and maturity. 
It's about showing her that you value her for who she is, not just her age. It's about being genuine, consistent, and engaging. It's about building a connection that goes beyond the surface. Remember, texting an older woman is an art, but with these tips, you're well on your way to mastering it. Thanks for watching.